Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here, and welcome to week six of the Click and Grow Smart Garden 9. If you want to see the unboxing weeks one, two, three, four, and five, you guys can check out my other videos down in the description below as I have been vlogging this whole experience. So, all right, week six and today is harvest day. I think that I waited a little too long. You know, I, I really like the, the veggies here and the herbs and they're growing and I was a little hesitant to want to cut them and want to eat them because I've kind of grown really attached to them. But I do know that they're getting out of control and I need to harvest and eat them. So right off the bat, you can see there's a little bit of a difference because we added the extension arms. So these arms right here are the extension. And if I roll up here and we go up, you can see that I extended the lights to be much higher because the basil and the lettuce were getting really tall and you can see the basil is really high now or over here but like a couple days ago it was over here and it had grown past the top of this and then i ordered this off of amazon the extension arms very easy it was like uh 20 bucks canadian and i just easily attached them on and now you know they have more room now and they're not hitting the top like they were a couple days ago so i got the extension arms they fit really nicely they look good and let's do a zoom up of everything here before i harvest and you can see that it's growing well there are some like leaves that don't look very well like some of them died and they got all dry and stuff because there was a whole heat wave happening here and there was a smoke thing happening with all the forest fires so the air quality in here wasn't the greatest and you can see the basil is totally thriving right now still no tomatoes but you can see if we zoom up here right over there there's a little tomato ball growing so there's some action happening over there that's still gonna take i think a little bit to grow but definitely lettuce and basil are ready to go and i'm actually going to be eating both of them so i'm making lettuce wrapped burgers and i do really like basil so i'm going to chop up a bunch of basil and put it in the meat of the burger and then the lettuce will be the bun instead of bread. So I watched some tutorials and I am going to attempt to harvest and prune this. I don't have the proper, you know, tools and all I just have a pair of scissors and all I am going to do this how I saw in the video and hopefully I do it correctly. Uh, so I'm just gonna, this leaf right here you can see is not good so I'm gonna have to throw that one out so i've got a bucket here on the side i'm gonna put it in and then wash it and then uh put it in um i'm gonna dry it and then i'm gonna put it in the fridge so that it can get all crisp for the burger so let's start pruning here all right there we go this leaf like i said this one's not doing so well so we will chuck that one out and I'll show you a zoom up here. This one wasn't doing very well. So we'll just put that one aside. We won't use that one. And then it's unfortunate that we had that whole smoke thing because I, I do think that you know with the air quality and having to close the window plus the heat it, it kind of got affected here but it's still okay. I don't think this one is good. This one looks really light and yellow so we'll leave that one and like I said I was quite hesitant to harvest because I've grown attached to this thing it's like it's alive and it was like a pet and now I'm gonna eat it 
<laughs> so that's that's something to get used to. This is like I'm all just kind of just cutting from the first one here. Ooh, this one's a good one right here, right here. Okay. I've got kale after this, after, you know, the little lifespan of this one goes, I'm going to be eating some kale, growing some kale. So I'll be doing a video on that one as well. So far I've got pretty good bunch going on. I will go some more now. The, the one back there is still quite small, so I'm going to leave that one to grow. Never thought I'd be doing this. It's because of the whole pandemic that got me thinking, hey, maybe I should grow some food. And also was inspired by another YouTuber named Roland. His channel's called Getting It Done North of Seven. And uh, he was growing a bunch of stuff and it inspired me to want to do something like this. This one's not a good one. You can see it's, I don't know what that means when it's doing that to the leaves. Some sort of leaf uh, infestation or something. This one's not a good one. Kind of was turning white, losing the green. So we'll leave that one aside. I think this one down here as well. The ones at the bottom were kind of going like that. And then we also got some some dead ones down here. I just went, you know, completely dry. Just went brown type thing. So obviously won't be eating that. Not sure if I should be cutting some of these uh, stems because they're getting quite long. I think maybe I will cut some of them because they're getting to be really heavy. So I will cut some of this. Again, I'm a complete newbie. I don't know if this is the correct protocol, but I'm going to keep it from drooping. Because it's going behind here. There's another leaf that didn't make it. Bit the dust on that one. Ooh, this is a good one. It's a nice one. All right, so I'm going to leave it at that. Um, as you can see, it looks totally bare. I totally stripped the whole thing. But we've got a good ton here. So you guys can see that. A good ton of lettuce here for the burgers. That's definitely more than enough. And we've got some here that, that didn't make it, so I'll be throwing that away. So let's do the basil now, because these are definitely ready. And uh, yeah, let's grab a bunch of basil leaves for the burgers as well. I really like adding basil to like a lot of different things. I just add it in here and there to eggs, to the burgers, put it on pizza. There's like a, a ton of these leaves that are ready to go. I saw in one of the tutorial videos to actually cut well, the, the shoot here um, to have it, to prevent it from becoming bitter. Uh, but I'm, I'm actually going to leave it and see what happens. This is all an experiment for me. So I'm going to just only get the leaves and leave the shoot. If anybody knows more about this and you know tell me if I should then I will but I'm just look at these leaves they look so nice so big so I'm just gonna grab a bunch here I remember buying an actual basil plant from like Costco and then we left for a trip and then they died <laughs> smells so good I love the smell of basil. I think those are all the really big ones. This is a, a different kind of leaf here that appeared out of nowhere. Oh, that's a dead one. Not too many dead ones on here. Mainly the lettuce. All right. So you can see here the crop yielding. We got a lot of basil here. The leaves are nice and big. And I'm going to use all this in the burgers that I'm about to make. So stay tuned for that. All right, so the light has now turned off. I've finished making the burgers and here it is. 
the lettuce wrapped burger. I put the lettuce on the bottom and then here on the top. Let's just get it to focus there. And then we've got ourselves a lettuce wrap burger. The basil I put inside of the burger along with a bunch of other things. But this is the lettuce that we've grown with the Smart Garden 9. And I am now going to enjoy the fruits of my labor and eat this burger. So if you guys have enjoyed the Smart Garden 9 journey, the vlog series, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. I had a lot of fun doing this. I will still do an update on the tomatoes because they are taking a lot longer. So I haven't decided yet. I might do updates every two weeks now or every three weeks because they are taking a lot longer to grow. But I will still do an update video when those come in. But for now, it has been six weeks to get to this lettuce wrapped burger. And I have to say, I have enjoyed this whole thing. I really like the Click and Grow Smart Garden 9. It's a great automated uh, system. It looks great. The design, it works great. The water and the lights. Right now the lights just turned off. That's why it's uh, the lighting is different from the previous video. If you watched the previous videos, I had the timer specifically go off at this time so that it doesn't bother me while I sleep. And then during the day, the lights turn on. So if you want to see the journey all the way from the beginning, you guys can head down to the description below. I will have the video links for you. And if you want to check out the Smart Garden 9 on Amazon, you guys can check out the links down below. And there it is. One last look there. The lettuce wrap burger that I made. We got some mushrooms there, caramelized onions. I can't wait to take a bite. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this journey and I'll see you in the next video.